Welcome back to an unmuted video at Barham Engines. Right, mate, first of all, let's go over onto the mill. Well, actually, before we go there, I just want to apologise for the last video. I was a little bit quiet when I... Yeah. We'd muted one of the mics. Yeah, because it was definitely on, wasn't it? It but was on. Don't muted. quite know how I'd done that, but mm. I only realised that when I come to edit it, which by then was too late. Couldn't re-video it because I won near. Mm. So I apologise for that, guys. Amateur. But I hope you can hear me a little bit better today. So this is the V6 Land Rover. Um, you have faced both faces. Yes, I have. It's not a 45 degree, this one, is it? No, it's 60 or something. 60, so. weird, weird. Um, but yeah, you can see it's not the easiest thing to set up. No, a bit of a pain, to be honest. Oh, looks a little bit um, sketchy, that, mate, but it's done, it is, is it? Yeah, done now. Just uh, need to lift it off. Uh, Were well, the faces help. far out? Um, the first one was a bit far out. Oh, really? I took, well, not too bad, but I took eight thou off. Right. So I've done the same on the other face, so that when we go to top the yeah. pistons, it's the same on all of them. That's it. So this being a diesel, we should have a flat top piston with obviously a pre-com chamber in the centre. Yeah. Is that what they are? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have to make sure that, you see you wrote it on here, yeah, how much you so took I off. Remember. So we'll take eight thou off the top of those pistons just to get them where they should be. Yeah. And then we ain't going to have any more problems. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, because of the angle on this, I'm going to be setting this up on the hone and honing it out with the rough stones. Makes sense. Only because there's only 20 foul to come out. A um, little bit of an iffy setup. So just quickly do it on there. Yeah. Um, and that is it then. We can give it a lick of the old bare and black and get it back together, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what am I doing today? So yesterday I was off. You were all on your own. Yes, I was. Left you on your own. But before people start commenting saying, shouldn't leave the apprentice on his own, um, you weren't actually doing work wasn't, work, no, were you? No, it wasn't like machining or anything. So. You were in the office there having a little clear out, mate. Yes, I was. Hence the... Um, mountain of stuff down here. <laughs> mountain of stuff down there having a good clear out. Hence the thumbnail and title. But I will show you that in a second, guys. Um, sad times in a way more so for john because he's been here longer than us yeah um so what we've got here the rover said about that haven't really gone any further have we no not yet that's um, one in the pipeline but as i say at the minute we're fairly busy with other stuff got the camshaft for the cosworth so this is the one from the last video snapped off the end not ideal no it's not good at all really. no it ain't good at all rocket um, cover damage I did notice one or two comments, people stating that we were laughing and joking when someone's pride and joy that we've built has been damaged. Can't all be doom and gloom, surely, well, in, in the video. I mean, but it doesn't mean to say we're going to be joking about this, because obviously we're not. We're fuming about this. Although, yes. not to pass the book, it's not, it wasn't our fault. It wasn't anything to do with our delivery drivers. But um, could have been a lot worse as well. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, very sought after head and block being an RS500. Yeah. So yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Could have damaged the head. As I say, it's damaged the rocker cover a bit, but we, we'll be able to sort that out, I'm sure. Yeah, well, and at least you can, worse comes to worse, you can get another rocker cover for these. But. Yeah, yeah, you can get another rocker cover. Although they are fetching yeah. really good money now, aren't they? And it's a shame because this one hasn't got the breather that they usually drill into the back there yeah, this so is a complete cool. plain head it's, mint, then. it's lovely um it's nice so shame about that little bit of damage but i'm um, sure we'll be able to sort that so shall we head into the office mate oh, i think show so. them what the thumbnail and title is all about like it says there guys in the title it is the end the end of this horrible cream paint yeah isn't it? Get that out, much to John's disgust. Now, he is off this week, John. <sighs> Ain't throwing him under the bus or anything like that, but he's a creature of habit, isn't yes. he? Understandably, because he's been in this game for a long time. Um, but he does like his creams and browns, doesn't he? Yeah, creams you know, and browns. Like I said, in the 60s, 70s, absolutely fine. Um, but not these days. We've got to go a little bit more contemporary and trendy. Definitely, mate. Isn't it? So while John's off this week, we're going to 
keep him out of it. Um, this office that I had is going to be John's office. So we've given it one coat of paint there. We've got our painter in today. He's just popped out to get some filler. And we've gone for the, what probably looks on camera a bit more blue than grey. I suppose yeah. it is a bit, isn't it? It is a bit blue. But he but says when nice. you put another coat on and it dries, it does actually go a bit more sort of grey. -y. I think that looks really good though. But it's actually the colour I got on one of my walls in my bedroom and I like <laughs> it. Yeah, no, I think that's really nice. Yeah, so it's um, obviously we're going to be having the LED lights in the top there, so it's still nice and light in here. And obviously you've got the window there, haven't you? So what, yeah. what the plan is, I've ordered, done away with the old cabinets. Um, we're going to, what do they call it? Up. Uh, uh, what do they call it when, they, when, you, when, you recon, when you sort of recon? Anyway, we're going to sort out the old desk. I'm going to probably just wrap it black, to be yeah. honest, because it's only the top, isn't it? Um, and it's a nice desk. It's a shame to get rid of that for the sake of a few hundred, you know. There's no point yeah, scrapping well. that, is there? May so we're going to just tart it up a bit. Tart it up, protect it. So we're going to wrap that black. We've got two black tall cabinets there yeah filing cabinets and one half height one so we'll put the printer and a nice plant on there um, and that will accommodate for all the stuff we've got out there all the manuals and everything on the wall in the where the sink is out there um, so we can clear that we'll put everything in here yeah john's desk here in front of his window and um that's it isn't it that's all you need happy day should be nice should be lovely. I'm already thinking this looks a lot better in here with this paint. Really? Yeah. It does look cool, doesn't it? Just I gives think. it a bit of life, I think. Yeah. I'm sure it won't be to everyone's taste on the channel, but um, I wow. like it. I yeah, it I think it's really nice. This sets off the white paint work, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, and it's, say, if you get your grubby hands on, it's not so noticeable. Mm. Um, so what we're going to do out here in the reception room, uh, so this was obviously where John's bench was, or desk, or whatever, where he had his computer on. We're gonna, this is just going to be purely a sort of reception entrance room, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to have a nice sort of 3D Barham Engines lit up sign there, maybe? I think so. It sounds Nice little nice. free view, or a nice little TV playing Barham Engines videos constantly <laughs> on there, do you reckon? Yeah. Nice black leather sofa here with a couple of tables either side, a few magazines and a couple of plants. Water cooler, water dispenser thing. Oh yes. <laughs> Not the coffee machine though. No. Forget that. No. Um, so yeah, that's, just, that's what this is going to be. Going to do the toilet out and all that. Um, it's about time, isn't it? I mean, when you look at it yeah. like this now, it's blooming well, horrible, isn't that it? That corner there, that's, uh, that's a pretty nightmare. bad, it's really. It's awful, isn't it? So yeah, it should look quite nice in here. And as I say, we'll stick John in there. He'll be happy, won't he, with his own room? Yeah, he'll be happy in there. All this is going to be uh, wooded panelled and we're going to do the white clad in there, the white plastic yeah. clad in all around here. Uh, not that wall, we shall just paint that white. All the, this, all this stuff's coming off in here. Going to white paint all these walls. Yeah, get Plastic clad nice. there. Um, we get everything, we'll, we'll do away with all these, sort everything out and get it all on that wall. So keep all these nice and plain, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe like a shelf going round halfway. Put Shelf stuff on. or maybe a few little overhead cabinets or something. I don't something know. like that. Yeah. Could, couldn't we? Um, and nice. then start building the. We've had Zach in last week. Going to start building the the office upstairs, mate. Partial glass front, I would say. Yeah. Basically, just build a big stud wall box type thing. Yeah. Um, and panel it and skim it, paint it that colour in there. Get the coffee machine up there in that corner sofa, two desks for you and I. Very nice. Lovely. And just make it quite nice, mate, isn't it, really? Yeah. As I say, the workshop can stay as it is. We can tidy that up, maybe paint and clean the machines one by one next yeah. year, maybe, or the end of the year, if we finish all this. I think so. And just basically, yeah, just paint the machines one by one, tidy it up in there. Try to get everything looking a bit better. Exactly. And one day when the old budget stretch, stretches to it, maybe sort of put this flooring down in there. Yeah, eventually. you could do. Not nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it will. Um, more to the point, we are going to be finishing this. So the our decorator is going to paint the door and all the woodwork. So he's painting right. the woodwork around there. Um, when Zach comes in, we're going to 
finish this here so he's going to panel obviously finish paneling the top of the doors yeah. which is irritating the hell out of everyone uh, we're going to put some like um, angle trim all the way across the top oh, right, just yeah, finish just it off really yeah and that's it that's all we need to do and a bit of luck the paint the painter and decorator that we got in his wife does cleaning so she's going to be coming in once a week to give everything a good clean nice offices Lovely. in here do the old floor and that, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. So yeah, all oh, the stairs we're going to paint black. Yeah. Up to our office. They're probably in need of that, aren't they, really? Yeah. So hopefully in the next six months, mate, it should start looking nice and clean in there, isn't it? We're getting there. Yeah. Gradually. Bit by bit. It all bit comes by together, bit, isn't it? isn't it? So yeah, happy with that. But let us know in the comments what you think about the colour. I'm half expecting quite a lot of people to not like that, but I think it'll look smart when I we think get. It looks nice. we'll get it, we're going to get the hex panelling, so say two hexes yeah. in the office and in the reception room, so that will brighten it up quite a lot. Um, be a bit like here, really, where you've got the black cupboards, but it's nice and bright, isn't it, because of the yeah, lighting, exactly, so yeah. that's the idea, really. Sounds good to me, mate. So yeah, all getting a bit tidier. Yeah. Well, guys, been one of those days. Um, it's time to go home now. The place is in uproars here, obviously, because we're doing the offices. Uh, so I'm going to cut it short and sweet. The only good thing is, I mean, I've been busy this afternoon, actually. Um, and the reason is I've been to pick up something in the shape of an E30. So absolutely wonderful news. Tom Upton, as if I just turn the lights on here, we've got it back and looking at it now with a bit of dust on it, lack of paint, etc. Um, it's a whole world away from being finished in my eyes. But I suppose when we've got a nice coat of gleaming orange on there, it won't look so far off. Um, I will show you in the next video the exhaust. Tom was going to take the exhaust off and um, store it at his place. But I said, leave it on because I want to get it on the ramp. Um, it's going to be on the ramp at Stuart's on Friday. So I want to get it up in the air and show you the, um, the artwork there that Tom has created. So inside, what has he done? We've put this brace bar going across the A-pillars. So obviously the only bit you'd be able to see would be that bit when the dash is all in, but that's going to brace those A-pillars. So this, with this um, cage now, it's not relying on any of the wings or anything. It's completely sturdy. Um, what else has he done? This part down here, you can see that, and that goes from that rear strut to strut brace. Um, that goes down and the diff mounts to that. Um, so, and also he's welded on the lugs at the rear of the diff which I will also show you which so you've got the twin ears at the back of the diff it's mounted to the, um, the I suppose the roll cage at the front so that diff is nicely secured that is what Wayne Drake great tricks said do before we paint it so we've done exactly that so really guys there's not a lot else we can do um, it's still got the fiberglass wings on the front you can see which are going to be coming off we've got the steel ones upstairs um, which actually I've got to get in touch with Andy and pay for them, so I haven't paid for them. But yeah, not a million miles away. I suppose what makes it look not so finished is obviously the Clee Code on rear wings, which um, over fenders, sorry, which Ryan is obviously going to bond all them on, bond the C pillar kit, and then as I say, once it's in paint, um, we're not a million miles away, guys. It's literally Meccano then, isn't it? Exciting times. So yeah, sorry we haven't um, done much of the technical stuff today guys we've got a lot going on we've got to get all this cleared up i've actually ordered today two black tall um filing cabinets one lower one which we're going to put a printer on nice plant so john's office hopefully in a week's time is going to look absolutely lovely um he'll be happy in there with his little laptop bless him so yeah until friday's video guys be showing you more underneath the e30 look forward to that have a great evening thanks for watching